tip number 54 place reference point the x0 y0 point of a footprint for true hole components to pin one and now some people think like we had this tip i remember we had this tip we had similar tip where we were speaking about SMT components and placing the reference point for SMT components into center of the component or into center of gravity of SMT component. This is uh, about true hole components and placing the reference point into pin one location. Why we don't have to use center for reference points for the true hole components? You know, the SMT components, they, they need it because the machine is used. But in many cases, true hole components, they are placed manually by people. They just fit it. So in many cases, it's not really uh, important to place the reference point for true hole components directly into center. I'm going to explain. I used to do it. I used to place the reference point into center. But I changed it. I'm going to explain why. By the way, if you like the designs, if you like the boards, layouts, and schematics, which I use in these tips, most of them you can download them. These designs are our own designs, and many of them are open source. Except the tiny Rex board, you can just Google for open regs or 28 pins or IMX6 regs. And you can download the Altium files, you can download the manufacturing files, and you can have a look how we done the designs. Thanks to David, I, I'm able to show you where the reference points of the components are located. Yeah. It's this cross with the circle. I didn't know there is this feature in Altium, but David, he pointed it out. And uh, you can see for the SMT components, it is in the center. And for the true hole connectors, the reference points are located where pin one is located. Now, what do you think why I moved the reference point from the center to the pin one for the true hole components? I'm curious if you know. For boards, what you design, many times you need to create a layer, which is called mechanical drawing. And this uh, layer is used then, for example, in manual. And uh, in this layer, you put that information about the board size, and you put that information where the mounting holes are located and where the connectors are located. This information can be used, for example, if someone would like to mount your board into their system or if they would like to create enclosure you know the case the housing for your board they need to know where or how they can mount the board and where they need to create the holes in the enclosure yeah, for the connectors and when uh, you are creating uh, or when you are putting the information about the position of the connectors Many times what you may want to use is pin one location. That's what I normally do. And uh, I'm sure now you are getting, you are starting to think that you know why I move the reference point. Because when uh, I was uh, using the reference point in the center of the true hole components, sometimes happen that pin one location of the connectors had uh, weird coordinates yeah and i wanted and when i wanted to put the information here like when i wanted to put here information how far it is from the edge the in some cases you know the position was like 54.1386 millimeter it's weird it not uh, only it doesn't look nice but it's also how you are going to measure it how you are going to measure this kind of weird position you are creating the opening in the enclosure how you are going to use it difficult and when i moved the 
reference point from the center when I move it into pin 1 location now I can quite nicely place the connectors in nice coordinates coordinates and then use the information here it looks nicer and it can be measured much easily sometimes we still uh, use the reference point in center of some of the true hole components like these buttons you can see here why do you think why we place the reference point for this button in the center because if someone would like to drill a hole for this button it's much easier for him to know where the middle of the button is yeah rather than uh, using information about pin one location and then trying to calculate where they need to drill the hole but you can see for the other components like here we always use the reference point in the pin one location I'm pretty sure you understand tip number 54 place reference point the x0 y0 point of a footprint for true hole components to pin 1 why easier for documentation easier for enclosure design 